I love bright spring mornings with the frost on the grass, fog over the canal and a burst of blazing sunshine shouting that the winter is over. So tonight, viewers, you're joining me, Miles and build your own bird feeder. This was a birthday present that you can stick up on the window and see all the birds that come and eat your seeds and then poo on the side of your boat. How many poos can we get? But first I've got to build it. It doesn't look that complicated. Is there an age limit on here? Recommended, six plus. Yeah. How hard can it be? Instructions. We don't need those. Don't think we need that. We might need that. Perfect. I think we just go straight in. Big piece. One piece. Dizzy wants to be part of the picture. Right, the second needs to play ball, don't you? Oh my god. Ew. Oops. Like play anywhere else. This is the only place you can play. So a glue just exploded all over the sofa. Glue's and going fine here. And we don't know where the lid is, so we just want to make everywhere's sure. Everywhere's covered in glue. Yeah, so we'll do that first. We'll clear that up first. Magically. Huh? The glue only went on top of cover. Susie destroying the beds. Right. Stop. No. Susie, no. Now everything is covered in glue. What's step two? You've got to glue this bit to the table. <laughs> yeah. We actually have wood glue if you run out. Should wear safety goggles, guys. I think I built the box. I don't know where this bit goes, but it's obviously a box with holes in it. Great. I wanted just to see it this way first. Right, anyway, I've got to do it before the glue set. Is this the final piece? <sighs> I hope so. This is where I found out last time we built all backwards. Wouldn't you love to dine here? Oh, it's so shiny. Shiny roof. So I think a shine would attract birds, I guess? Maybe. Cool. Can't wait to see some kingfishers in our window. Is that why you got it? No, I'm just hoping. So you can use this for bird's seed. So. How is the uh, bird feeder going? Mm, no, not had any birds. I think you've scared them away. <laughs> that, those, those are frogs though. Do oh. ducks <laughs> like bird feet, bird food? No. <laughs> Maybe it's the food. Yeah. That's, the, That's probably it. I'm doing a mini solar cruise. Um, Miles is away seeing his mum and I am going to the next village. I'm going to see if there are any nice spots and if the Wi-Fi is good. If it is, then I'll stay there and if not, I'll turn around and, and if not, then I'll go back the way we came. I'm setting off from Honey Street, a lovely mooring with a very unique pub nearby called Barge Inn. It was originally built 200 years ago to service the Kennet and Navon Canal. 
The pub used to be known as the George Inn. It served as a bakehouse, slaughterhouse and a shop for those living and working on the canal. This area is steeped in history and Wiltshire legends, from King Arthur and Merlin to crop circles and aliens. In fact, the Crop Circle Visitor Centre is within walking distance. One of the rooms in the pub has beautiful artwork of legends and ancient sites of Stonehenge and Avebury. to a place with a swing bridge so it's a good place to stop uh, put actually warm clothes on um, and the winding hall is just behind the bridge um, it doesn't look like anyone's around here so I might have to go turn around and come back and then close the bridge but we'll see so I've just put another layer on I've got warmer gloves I'm gonna do the swing bridge turn around I kept checking the internet all the way and we need high upload speed for work um, and yeah I haven't haven't found it yet. The winding hole is for boats up to 65 feet. Alba is 62 feet, so it was very snug. So I just moored up, put one peg in the ground, and then because I checked the internet and it was good, and I checked it again and it's not it's not good so I think I'm going to go back to where we were because it's a nice spot we still would have to move this is not the spot unfortunately so I keep going maybe I'll have breakfast before I keep moving though so I have arrived to the same spot where I started um, which is not very productive it means that I'm gonna need to move uh, possibly tomorrow but any time in the next couple of days I also went ahead to check the signal and there is a spot ahead that has really good internet so I might move there otherwise we'd have to go back all the way to PUZ um, which is also an option um, but it would be nice to uh, spend a little bit more time in this neck of the woods. The journey is not wasted, it was nice to see what was that way and check the internet. I am going to spend the rest of the day preparing for the week ahead. I need to do some laundry, haven't done it in a while um, and get a little bit of work done. Nice and chill day on board. so windy today but um, it's not going to rain so I decided that I'm going to move. Um, Miles went to work and he's got the car to Pusey so this is a really good opportunity to move today. Um, it's only an hour and a half. It is windy but the runner locks so I think I'm going to go for it. So as you can see I didn't go yesterday, um, I went for a walk, it was a little bit too windy and I decided to postpone it for today, however it was meant to be rainy today but now it's saying it's going to be windy in about one hour, so I'm going to set off now and at least a half of my journey is going to be um, quite smooth so I'm going to go now. So I just set off, um, slight challenges getting off the shallow bank but I did it, um, the journey should only take about an hour and a half. Oh my god I just saw an animal that I've never seen before, uh, it was jumping around on the bank, it looks like a size of a cat, a fairy and black with a really long tail, it reminded me, god I wouldn't even know it in English. I'm gonna look it up in Russian and translate and put this down but anyways about this size it looked so cool it was just jumping around um, 
yeah I don't know what it is it's so cool like I love spotting new animals yesterday when they we had a coal boat come in hold on hold on we had a coal boat coming and um, while, while they approached uh, Alba there was this it was like five in the after, in the evening and there was a white barn owl like really just at the back of the boat and going into the field nearby it was really close um, so cool loved it um, they actually told me this amazing owl ear fact do you know like how owls ear looks like if you don't have a google and um, you learn something new I'll give it as a surprise for you but it's pretty remarkable I just looked it up it looked like I saw a mink I don't know what size they are but if they are the size of a cat that was a mink it looked like what I saw uh, it says here that minks are found through Great Britain and Ireland and they're invasive non-native species that was brought here to be um, cultivated for fur purposes and they escaped good on minks but not good that they are invasive this grand bridge is quite unusual for the canals it's called ladies bridge most of the canal bridges are functional and plain when this canal was being cut the landowner didn't care for the idea of an industrial canal across her land the Kenna and Avon was constructed anyway but only after she'd been well paid and had dictated that the bridge must be pretty and here it's standing beautifully and it's now grade 2 listed after this the canal opens up in something that looks more like a lake no more straight edges this also has been planned it was another condition laid out by the landowner who wanted her stretch of the canal to be created in a way to look as natural as possible. So glad I'm cruising today, not yesterday. Uh, the sun is out, the, blue, the sky is blue, there's no rain, there's no wind. It's perfect, it's so lovely. Oh, yeah, I definitely made the right choice. I also just saw a squirrel. It was a half, half size of a normal squirrel and it was great. So I don't think it was a red squirrel, but it was tiny. Anyway, I'm almost there. I think I should be arriving in the next 10 to 15. It's been a lovely journey. That was such a nice journey, I really enjoyed it. Glad to be back to the land of Wi-Fi because we didn't have Wi-Fi for two, two weeks while we were there, three weeks. Somehow it just stresses me out, it's a stressful thing. So back to <laughs> civilization um, and I'm gonna have a nice brunch and get on with my day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give the video a like and subscribe if you are new here. Big thank you to our patrons for supporting this video. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.